Well, when you see the devastation down south, it's pretty tough to get worked up about rising gas prices. But for us here in the Northeast, that's really the impact that we feel from these storms. So we send Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Matthew Campbell to find out exactly how much they'll affect your wallet. And Matthew, what did you find tonight? Well, Aaron and Mark, we're already at a point where we're seeing some stations start to cross that $3 mark, like right here at the Cumberland Farms here in Rocky Hill. But there are some stations that are hovering around $2.90, and folks are right now flocking to those because they know that those prices aren't going to last. There were lines at the Broad Street Cumberland Farms in Meriden tonight with drivers looking to top off tanks at under $3 a gallon. Traditionally, gas has spiked after hurricanes. That's something that we can expect whenever we have a national weather incident that, you know, prices are going to go up. We saw it after Katrina and after Harvey. Drivers we spoke with were curious about why this always happens. I don't know if it's necessarily because there's a shortage or because they can. As Hurricane Michael wrecks havoc on the Florida panhandle, AAA spokesperson Amy Parmenter says that creates a chain reaction that's felt all the way up here in the Northeast. In 2005, Katrina caused severe damage to refineries. Last year, Harvey shut down production at the country's largest one. But AAA expects a quick-moving Michael will not do the same. We expect the problems to involve uh, widespread power outages and just issues with the actual delivering of the gasoline. So with no long-term price surge forecasted, we wanted to know how much more drivers should expect to pay. The increase that we're talking about is really likely only a few cents a gallon. Drivers promise they'll be watching closely. I haven't noticed a substantial impact on prices just yet. I'll probably start to get concerned if I notice them creeping up a bit more. Even without the hurricane, prices have been on the rise. The national average right now, $2.91 a gallon. That's $0.07 cents higher than last month and $0.44.5 cents higher than this time last year. That's the latest live here in Rocky Hill tonight. Matthew Campbell, Sean Thurmish News.